In this problem, we're given two functions, f of x and g of x, is a table of values. We're asked to add, subtract, multiply, and divide the two functions at various x values. In the first problem, we're supposed to find f of 3 and add it to g of 5. So what you need to know is that 3 is an x value. You can tell by looking at what's in the parentheses up here, which is the letter x, and here they put a 3 inside to indicate that x is 3. So when you go over to the table, to the one labeled f, because I'm doing f of 3, you need to look for where x is 3. So x is my input variable, f of x is my output variable. So I want to see where x is 3 and see what the corresponding output is. So the table simply just says that if you plug in 3, you'll get out 4. So in function notation, the fact that 3 is the input and 4 is the output means that f of 3 is equal to 4. In mathematics, if two things are equal, you can substitute one for the other. So where you see the notation f of 3, you can simply think of this as being the number 4. Repeat the process with g, and notice they're saying that x, the input, is 5 in this case. So when you go to the chart for g, you want to look for where x is 5. Look over and see that the output of g would be 3. So g of 5 is equal to 3. Again, make that substitution. Replace the notation for g of 5 with the number 3. And then note that they told me to add them. Since 4 plus 3 is 7, I get 7 as the first answer. Let me clear this out so that it doesn't get too messy. In this problem, we're asked to find g of 6 and f of 9 and subtract them. It's the same process, except I'll subtract at the end. g of 6, you'd go over to the chart for g, look down the x column and see that if you plug in 6, the output is 7. So g of 6 is 7. Repeat the process with f this time. It says use the function f and consider when x is 9. If x is 9, looking down on the chart, you get 8. So f of 9 equals 8. So I'll replace f of 9 with the number 8. Since I'm subtracting them, I get 7, take away 8 is negative 1. So the answer to the second blank is negative 1. The next problem, you just keep repeating the process. It says find f of 3, find g of 6, and then multiply the results. Again, whatever is in the parentheses is the x value, and your job is to find the output in each case. So the chart says that if you plug 3 into f, you get out 4. So this is 4. It says that if you plug 6 into g, let me see, this is the chart for g, but remember, 6 is an x value. So I go down to x equals 6 in the chart for the function g and see that if you plug in 6, you get out 7. This time I'm supposed to multiply the results, so 4 times 7 is 28. In the last example, it's the same thing except I'm supposed to divide. g of 5, move over to g, plug it in 5, gives me 3 as an output, so the numerator will be 3. Then I'm supposed to divide that by what I get when I plug in 9 for f. 9 is in the parentheses, so it's an input, so it's important again to go down to the input column, down to the number 9, move over to f of x, and see that the output f of x equals 8 if you plug in 9. So my answer is 3 eighths.